Welcome home. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be back. So, um, what can I prepare for you? Let me just wash and get it done. What would you like to eat? Excuse No, you don't say that. You should eat something. Just coming back from the hospital. Ah. Uh, okay. Tea. Maybe just tea? Yes, a cup of warm tea. No, no, you should eat something. Tea? Is that what you want? Yes. I'll get it done. Just give me some. Give me a minute. Hi. Welcome back, baby. Thank you. So good to have you back home. Feels good to be home too. Your friend has been of great help to us. You should thank her so much. Yeah, she's more than a friend and a sister to me. I know. She's a nice person. She is indeed. I appreciate her. So good is to have you. Is your phone ringing? Um, yeah. Who is it? Let me check. Oh, it's the doctor. Oh. Uh -huh. He probably wants to know if we're home now. Yeah, let me just... Please speak. Yes, okay. Yeah, hello, doctor. Oh, yes, we just got back home. Thank you. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah. He sent his regards if we're home Sir. already. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, here. Okay, easy. Yeah, it is. Please help her out. Okay? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Thank you so That's much. It. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Whew. So you want me to I'm fine. I'm good. You're good. Thank you. Of course. You're welcome. You know you would do the same for me. <laughs> um, I actually have a suggestion. Okay. I think you both need a maid that will help you out with your chores in this house. Hmm. Mm. You know she's not she's not fit anymore to do some things and she needs help. That's that's true. That's that's a wonderful suggestion. Um, baby, what do you think? I agree. But where do we find someone? Oh exactly where? Not to worry. I'll just go in search and I'll make sure I get one done for you guys. Hmm? Thank, Thank you. you. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stella. We really appreciate it. It's fine, it. come on, Fit. See, Annabelle will do more. I'm serious. I know. <laughs> Good to see you back home, Annabelle. I'm happy to be back home. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. How long will this continue? This is just the first night together and I'm tired. What type of destiny is this? Is it her bad luck or mine? No, it can't be my bad luck. She's the bad luck. Does it mean I'm going to be married to a blind woman? No, God forbid. This is not what I wished for. Chris? Hmm? Are you thinking about me? Um, I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just tired. I may be blind, but I can tell you're worried. I'm not worried. Look, can you just sleep and let me think about my life? Think about your life? Why are you sounding that way? Do you want me on this bed? Or do you want to go to the guest room to sleep? Well, 
I want to drink tea. But we just had rice this evening. Yes, but I want to drink tea. It will put me to sleep. Please? Help me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Come on. Thank you. Sugar in the house. Meaning we have run out of sugar? Exactly. Ah, you should go and buy. I can't drink tea without sugar. Just just manage it like that. I can't. Do you want me to go prepare something else for you? Or would you just manage the tea like that? Chris? Are you talking to me that way because I am blind? And are you trying to turn me to a houseboy because you are blind? Please manage the tea like that. Please just manage it like that. Well, Annalia, Chris, this is Obi. She's well experienced and she's very good. If you wouldn't mind, I have bought her for her to help you out in your chores, at least to be your maid here. <laughs> Obegeli? Yes, ma. That is the full meaning of your name? Yes, ma. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, ma. How old are you? I'm 26, ma. Where are you from? Okija. Okija. Mm. Chris, is there any problem? Uh, no, no problem. There's just this thing about people from Okija. Honey, <laughs> mm. I mean, come on, that's just the story. Mm. Okay. Obi. Ma? Welcome to my house. Thank you, Ma. As you can see, I am handicapped. I had an accident some time ago and it cost me my sight. Hmm. My fiance and I are in need of a domestic staff who clean, cook, and run errands for us. We would like to hire your services and pay you the sum of 50,000 Naira per month as salary. Does that sound like something you can do? Yes, yes, sure. Why not, ma'am? Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. You have to live with us within this house, in one of the guest rooms. Oh, sure, ma. That's no problem, ma. Okay. Can you iron clothes? Yes, perfectly well, sir. Okay, because I like my clothes well ironed. No problem. Honey, <laughs> you're the one that can see her. Mm-hmm. Is she all right? How does she look? Uh, she's fine. Mm -hmm. She's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm actually very happy um, you both like her. Like I said, she's well experienced and she's a very good person. Obi, yes. this is my friend's house. Her name is Annabelle, like I told you. And here is her fiancé, Chris. Please take care of her home and assist her in anything she wants. Okay, and Stella, I will not do anything to disappoint you. I'll take care of her very well. Thank you. I like to hear that. Um, thank you so much, Stella. Okay. Yeah. Um, why don't you bring your thing? Let me show you your room, okay? Okay. Okay, baby. Stella is here. Right back. Okay. Um, okay. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Bless you too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome for bringing somebody on that short shot. It's fine. Anything for you, my darling. Oh. Now that we have a maid, I think my problem is lesser. That is just by the way. I have to plan for my life now. Be careful what you do. Run in. Be careful what you do. Why can't you just stay one place? It's not the end. Why, why can't you just stay one place knowing you can't see? Eh? If you fall down now and break your head now, what will people say? They would not know that it's just you that refuse to stay one place. Stay one place, this woman. Why can't you just go back to the bed and rest? Let me think. Chris. This is the second time you are sounding this way since we returned from the hospital. Why? 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 Because I never planned to marry a blind woman. You're pregnant for me. And you're blind. I'm not happy about it. Is it now my fault that I am blind? Oh, it's my fault. Okay, it's my fault, eh? How many times did I tell you to put on your seatbelt and you refuse to put it on, saying it does not matter? Is it my fault? And now look at what it has cost us. Please, just go back to bed and rest, please. Let me think. Put on your seatbelt. You refuse to put on your seatbelt, saying it does not matter. Okay, should have been another reason for me to send you back. One boy from Okija stole from me. I'm sorry, sir. But I don't steal. I, I, I promise I don't steal. Look, I know. Okay. I like you. My fiance lost her sight months ago. And I've been the one crying about and it's tiring. I'm tired. It's, it's draining me. I think it's time I have to plan for my life. Look, I can't marry a blind woman. I'm sorry about that, sir. Do you have a serious boyfriend? Mm -mm. I mean, I, I could be your serious boyfriend. Yeah. Who knows? You might actually be the one. Stop, please, stop. 
so stupid, you know. What has come over Chris? Why is he acting up? Is it my fault that I got blind? I am not even treating him badly or making him to do what he does not want to do. There is a maid to handle the house chores. Why is he like this? God, please help me. I have no one. I want to see him as my everything. God, do not let me be put to shame. Help me, God. This is getting hard. And it's just the beginning. I wanted to talk to you. I want to apologize to you. Chris, if I have wronged you in any way, knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me. I am sorry. Don't blame me for this condition. I hate that I'm in this condition. Don't blame me for it. I want... I want us to go back to the way we were. I want things to return to normalcy. Remember how we used to be? Hmm? Chris? Be careful what you do Careful what to do. Bend of the road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi melona za emeki ya moga dima. Remember. Alright. Congratulations. You are perfectly okay. Your sight is good. Take this. This is for temporary arrangements. Now we. Congratulations. You are perfectly okay. Your sight is good now. Just open it gradually. You are gone. Come on. Come on, yeah. Gradually. Yeah. Don't force it. I can see now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. Wow. Doctor? There's a favor that I need from you. Now, yeah, what could that be? Um, I am an orphan. I lost my parents in a ghastly motor accident many years ago. I have no family member to call my own. My only uncle, who was supposed to be my family member, did his best to eliminate me so he can take over my father's properties. He failed woefully in all his attempts to kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alive but lonely at heart. I have Chris and Stella. Quite all right. 
But Chris, I have come to know, loves me a lot. He lives in my house and works in my company. The company I inherited from my late father. He wants to marry me. I am willing to be his wife too. But before I proceed with the arrangements of marriage with him, I need to know if he genuinely loves me. I want to know if I can trust him. All right. So, tell me, what do you want me to do? That's the point. That's where I've been driving at. When Chris comes with Stella to pick me up, let them know that I lost my sight completely. Put the bandage back on. I, I guess this is an expensive job. Yes, one that is worth it. Please, I need you to help me achieve this. It's my only way of finding out if I can trust both of them. Please. Hey, one. Be careful what you do. One man, be careful what you do. The road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi melona za emeki ya moga digma. Remember, life has it up and down. What is so? It is what you wish. Good morning, ma. What goes around? Yes, ma. I'm fine. Hope you slept well, ma. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Honey, how are you? Hi. Baby. Uh -huh. You slept without cuddling me last night. Well, as you can see, I'm not happy. I've just been thinking about how to go through because of your blindness, you know? What? What do you mean? I don't understand. What don't you understand? I've been thinking about the solution to this issue. But all you've been doing is just asking me questions and questions. Okay, please just bring me across the Okay, sir. Has he gone? Uh-huh. Yes. Chris. Obi. Yes, ma. Can I trust you? Of course you can, ma. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Okay. As you have noticed, Obi, I lost my sight. But I am counting on you to become my eyes. I don't have a sister. But you and I can live in this house as sisters. Be my eyes. Watch over me. Watch around me. Watch out for me. Watch Chris for me. If Chris brings any lady into this house, be sure to let me know about it. Can you do that for me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh ma, Oga Chris has been a really nice man. He has not done anything suspicious. Mm. And believe me when I say he's the best man for you. Yeah, he really is. Thank you. Thank you, ma. I'll be in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. I think 
can to start dressing sexy for you. I need to stop wearing all these hairs. I want you to give me money so I can go and buy new clothes. Or maybe you take me shopping yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if it's money, it's not a problem. Okay? For me? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you go to your shopping, okay? Oh, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh -huh, baby, do you know that that blind woman, she asked me to keep an eye on you. She said I should report to her everything you do in this house. Can you imagine? She said that? Yes. I know this is a fool. Big one. She's such an ingrate. Did you know she wants to turn me to a house boy because she's blind? Can you imagine? And I'm sure that if she's the one in your position, she'll bring men into this house. Exactly. She's so jealous. I hate people that are so jealous. Me too. Baby, go and dress up, okay? Let me take you go to your shop, yeah? Don't buy this sexy clothes. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Um, the first stuff are finished in the house, so I want to go to the market and get some. Okay. You can go. I can go. I need your ATM. I don't have money. I thought... I thought you had money. You thought? Are you trying to insult me? You thought I had money? Chris... I honestly thought of you. I didn't mean to offend you. We're not the one managing your dad's account before he became blind. After all, all the money are going to a private account. You thought I had money. The drawer beside me has my ATM in it. Please take it. You thought I had money. you do run in be careful what you do bend of the road is not the end of the road makana ifi melona za emeki ya moga digma remember life has it up and down what is all is what you read what goes around must surely Jeez. comes around. Be careful. What goes around must surely comes around. Be careful. What has come over Chris? Mr. Chris. Is it this girl or what? Does he hate the fact that I'm blind? So if I was actually blind. This is what I would have been going through. <laughs> men. Men will always be men. I am going to deal with Chris. And as for that maid, I will dig 10 feet beneath the floor and bury her alive. It's a promise. Be careful what you do. 500,000 naira. Wait a minute. He said it's full stop now. He said they are going to buy full stop. What amount of full stop will you buy with 500,000 naira? Chris! No, 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 no. What's happening with my money? Chris, 
Are you there? Yes, I'm here. How much did you take from my account this afternoon? I don't know. Why are you asking? Okay, fine. If you must know, um, 70,000. Are you fine? Are you okay? I just needed to know. Oh, okay. Um, let me freshen the box. trying to do. Chris, I miss you. Since the accident, you haven't made love to me. Yes. That's because I'm not in the mood. But I need you. I need the touch of a man. Look, 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 Annabelle, say, if you want a man, I could get you a man from outside. Look, Annabelle, can you just let me sleep, please? You use every excuse to turn me down. Why? What do I make out of this? Have you possibly gotten a girlfriend somewhere? Are you accusing me? I am not. But you know what I'm saying. I have no idea of what you're talking about. Please, good night. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure that's the evidence, babe. And look, I am not going to abort it. I won't. Babe, I'm not ready for this. Why? Is Annabelle not pregnant for you too? That was before the accident. Baby, it's the same thing. Or even better now. Look. I will not kill my baby, yo. I will not. So get ready to be a father because I'm not going to commit murder. I won't. Can we talk about this later? Okay. Yes. But it better not be about an abortion. And I expect you to be excited about me. I believe the house and company documents are in this house. I will find it. I must find it. I told you about my condition and you said we are going to talk about it. We still haven't talked. You told me you are pregnant and you are not going to abort it. True. And I am fine with it. Yes. The baby 
This house, the company will be ours. But I just have to look for the document and find it. Okay? That's what is important right now. Okay. But my love, you should have explained better. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find those documents, okay? I know those documents are in this house. I know it's in that room. And I must find it. You'll see it. I'm positive. It's a smile for me. <laughs> and our baby. <laughs> Chris has changed. He's no longer the man I used to know. He doesn't take care of me anymore. <sighs> he talks to me anyhow. He gets angry at me over the slightest provocation. He has changed. Um, Annabelle, I don't think Chris has changed. Maybe he's stressed. See, relax. Don't worry. I'm sure he will come by. Okay? <laughs> Okay, right? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, ma. What's going on here? Where? Annabelle, why is Obi dressed like this? And Chris allows it in this house. Like how? How is she dressing? I can't see. With the very short thing that's almost showing her butt. But you know I can't see, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um I have to go. And, but before then, I will need to talk to her and show her her place in this house. What is all this? Hold on. I have to talk to this girl. What is going on? What's the meaning of this? Why are you dressed like this? Oh, you're supposed to be the housemaid here. Are you dressed like this? No, no, tell me. Are you trying to seduce your boss? Or should I say your madam's fiancé? No! Oh, no, ma, no, 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 ma. I'm not trying to seduce anybody. I only wore these clothes because they are free and I'm comfortable in them during my house chores. Do you yourself talk? You feel comfortable with this thing, with this rag, this short thing? Doing, doing your house chores? Obi, I am the one that brought you into this house. Please, I beg you in God's name, do not disappoint me. No, ma, I can't. Do not, uh, because it will pain me. No, 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 eh, I swear to God. You came from a decent home, Obi. What is this? Act like one now. Mm -hmm. hey, if you continue wearing this, this, this short thing in this house, honestly speaking, I will send you back to your body form. And I'm serious. No, ma, I will not disappoint you. I, I swear to God, I, I cannot disappoint you. I'm not trying to seduce anybody. I don't even know the meaning of seduction. It's you that is calling seduction in my ear now. Please, I'm not trying to seduce anybody. You better not. You better not. Now go in there and change to something decent. Okay. Okay, I'm too mommy. I'm great. Be careful what you do. Careful what to do. Mm. End of the road. It's not the end of the road. Makana ipi meloya. So Annabel has a trust fund of hundred million naira given to her by her father. Why should even let me know about it? Ah, women are wicked. Ah, hey. Are you there? Uh, yes, I am here. Relaxing. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, is Stella gone? Yes, she just left. Oh, okay. Come, come, come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me drop this for you. Thank you. Yes, it's Okay. Uh -huh. um, I'm coming, okay? Let me just get a glass of juice. Okay. All right. Thank you so much.
Chris is going far. What is his plan with my house and company documents? I know he has seen the trust fund document too. What is he planning? To sell my house? Or to claim it? I never knew Chris could be this wicked. God, I thank you for all these revelations. I thank you for these perfect plans. Now I have found out Chris was the wrong man for me. I will be patient and watch him. This baby living inside me is my only reason why he's still around me. I will watch and follow every of his plan. Chris, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry if I have wronged you. Forgive me. I still love you very much. I remember the way you used to love me too, before the accident. I want you to go back to that time and love me like that. Please. I realized that I ask a lot of questions lately and that gets you really upset. I'm sorry. I'll try not to ask too many questions again. Just please forgive me and love me and stop treating me badly. I've been crying a lot lately. I hate to cry. I hate to feel sad depressed or lonely. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I've heard what you said. I've heard what you said. Um, can we just sleep now? Have you forgiven me? Yes. Okay. If you have truly forgiven me, make love to me. So you want me to make love to you, that is why you're asking me for forgiveness? That's the same thing they always say about women. You are, you guys are never satisfied. You ask for forgiveness. And I forgive you. And now you're asking me to make love to you. And if I make love to you, next thing you ask me is to kill myself for you. Please, please, sleep. Just sleep. Sleep. Chris. Good night. Just sleep. Buy me Minera, please. Okay, Minera. what I want. I want malt. But you said I should buy you mineral. Oh, it's malt I had in mind. I'm sorry I should have been specific. Please, return this. Get malt for me. Thank you. Um, Sarah, I 
them to my lawyer. He knows what to do with them. Is everything okay? Yes. Don't let Obi to see it. Please. Hide right. it in your bag. I said I'll come take your change later. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. Obi, what is this? I thought I've warned you not to wear such kind of dress in this house. What is going on? What? Obi! Annabelle, what is going on in this house? Annabelle! What is going on? I don't know. I can't see. I don't know. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. How are you? I'm not fine, babe. What is this? What happened? Exactly. What am I putting on? I cannot find my clothes or my shoes anymore. I, I can't find any of the nice things you bought for me. What do you mean that you can't find your clothes and shoes? I don't understand. Exactly, me too. I do not understand. I had my bags. I came out from my room to wear something really nice for you as usual. I can't find my clothes. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Check my room. I don't find anything. I'm not joking. These are the only clothes left. I don't understand. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I can't find those new things you bought for me again. I can't find the short gowns and the short skirts. How? Did anyone come visit him? Yes, yeah, Stella. Stella. Did you by any chance leave the house? Yes. The blind woman asked me to go get her moat. That means Stella knows what happened to these clothes. I thought so too. But I saw her leaving. She left with just her handbag. I don't you, know. You saw Stella leaving? Yeah, she left with just her handbag. Now all the clothes she bought for me are not here again. What am I going to wear? Just this old clothes it's, from the village. It's, it's, so okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Look, we'll get you new ones, okay? I'll get you new ones. Alright? What is this coming from me? This is confusing. Be careful what you do. Chris? Bobby said some of our clothes are missing. I don't understand how clothes could just vanish from the house. And she told me Stella was the only person that came visiting. What does that mean? Is she trying to say that Stella stole her clothes? No. What I'm trying to understand is, did her clothes grow legs and just leave this house just like that? I really don't know. It makes me speechless. Wow. 
By the way, I always wanted to ask, how far have you gone with our wedding arrangements? Hmm? Not too far. I want to go out and see a friend. Oh. Yeah, see you soon when I get back. Okay. Punish you for the pains you're inflicting on me. All the punish you with this boy. Okay. This is a short time. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it for me. Be careful what you do. Oh, Be careful what you do. Bend out the road. It's not the end of the road. Remember, life has it up and down. What is all is what you read. What goes around must surely comes around. Be careful. What goes around must surely comes around. Be careful. Have you given the document to my lawyer? happening in this house. I thought Madame is blind. But the way she died this number now and made call. I'm not sure this woman is blind though. What is happening in this house? Okay now, look at the way a guy is treating all be a common maid. So precious. Treating her so nice as if she's his new wife. That girl, if I know, see her be bum bum. Hey. Jesus Christ. And I'm very sure this man, this man will be sleeping with this object. He'll be sleeping with her. But I think. What am I going to do now? Um, let's, let's, let's see how, how she will steal this one. Or anybody will get to steal this. No? Thank you, my love. Make sure you keep it well. You'll be a good father to our baby. I know. Look, soon, the house and the company will be ours, okay? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's go. Mr. Christy, one the book, get it even so boogie. In a me alley, in a way alley, again, even so boogie. Oh, okay, I see more again, even so boogie. Oh, time alone, be not a girl. What so you will reap? What goes around? Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, oh, this, this is fine. Uh, uh, I always. Babe, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Do you so like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. I always want to look good for you, my love. No, you look amazing, babe. <laughs> Thank I you feel so like much. eating your right now. Stop. <laughs> oh, ah, Christ. <laughs> oh, that's why I took this time to create, you know? <laughs> Looks so good. Looks so good. Yeah. Have you checked the others? Yeah, yeah, I have. And the oh, fit? Good. I heard voices. 
Chris? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Do you need anything? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. What goes around? My shawlie comes around. Be careful. What goes around? My shawlie comes around. Okay. Is this for you? Yes. Oh, okay. Um. Why don't you just relax, okay? Um, let me go up. Well, okay. So I'll be with you soon. Okay. All right. Mr. Chris, what is your problem? Mr. Chris, the one the book get the book so buggy. In a me alley, in a way alley, I get the book so buggy. Oh, okay. I see my get the book so buggy. Oh, I'm alone. You look amazing. You said that several times. I'm not tired of saying it. Look, <laughs> take it in your word now. Thank you. All thanks to you, my love. I know. <laughs> I want to have my bath. Okay. Now? Yeah, just wait for me. Okay. I will come watch you a bit then. You would watch a bit? Why not? I will also help you scrub your back. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go, baby. <laughs> Chris? Are you there? Yes, I'm waiting. I'll be out soon. Okay. Are you done now? Um, yes, I am. What is... It feels like there's someone else here. I feel a presence other than you. Um... Who no? is that? Oh, nobody. Just, just me. I just came up in the bathroom. Just me. Yeah. Um, do you need anything? No. Oh. Uh, I just want to lie down and relax a bit. Oh, okay. Okay. My friend I kept here for easy access. I can't find it anymore. How? I don't know. Do you happen to see it? I can't see. I'm blind. Um, forget it. Where exactly did you keep it? I... I kept... I kept it. All the documents for the compound and the company and the trust fund I told you about are missing. How's that possible? I don't know. You, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, all the documents for the trust fund, everything is gone? I can't find it where I kept it. That's what I mean. Look, babe, babe, babe. I'm sure, I'm sure whoever took my clothes also took your documents. No, who could it, who, who could be that person? It's only one lady that's in this house. Stella. Yes. Stella is the only one that has been to this house. Stella. Yes, you said it before, but. How could Stella come to this house and just go and take a document from the drawer? How? Yeah, right. What's going on? What's going on? Babe, are you sure you dropped them where? Or maybe you you took them out? Or are you sure you don't misplace them? I don't know. What goes around? My shawlie comes around Be careful What goes around My shawlie comes around Be careful
Mr. Chris, what is your problem? Mr. Chris, you want the book, get it even so boogie. In a miale, in a woyale, I get it even so boogie, oh, okay. I see what get it even so boogie. What can I see? How can I see it in a room? I did not keep it there. First, you said her clothes got missing. Now it's documents. It's the same thing I'm trying to ask. What happens getting missing in this house? Eh? What happens getting missing ever since the day Stella came to this house? Things have been getting missing in this house. Excuse you? Ever since who? You mean Stella, my friend, the same one you've known for a long time that comes here for a long time is suddenly the one behind what? Please, please. You can have wild imaginations, but do not accuse the innocent. Who Don't is do it. innocent? Look, you never can tell. Nobody's innocent here. Yeah? It's possible that it's Stella. Biaobi. Yes? The woman in question is the reason you are living in this house with us. So what are you saying? I know. I'm not saying she took my clothes or the documents. I'm only saying that she shouldn't be an exception. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Why don't you two fulfill all righteousness by going to our room to check for it? Hmm? Mm. Chairs over there. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you do, my man. Be careful what you do. The bend of the road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi meloyaza, emeki ya moga digima. Remember, life has it up and down. What the soul is what you read. What goes around, my surely comes around. Be careful. What goes around, my surely comes around. Be careful. Mr. Chris, what is you know, I don't understand. This is the same drawing. I saw the documents and I kept it back. Then why is it not in the drawer? It's not here now. Someone must have taken it. Could it be Ojo the gate man? How? What's, what, what's Ojo's business with documents? Uh, it makes no sense now. How can Ojo live there and come into the house and take documents? I don't know, babe. I'm just saying that no one should be an exception. It's possible. So where is the document? It's really important. This, this doesn't make sense. What's going on? So what are we going to do? What's going on? Did Stella enter the room when she came to the house? No. She sat here in the living room with me until it was time for her to leave and Obi saw her off to the gate. What's, what's going on, Ada? I'm confused. How come my documents just vanish like that in this house? And my clothes too. That means me too, I might vanish one day. With the way things are vanishing in this house, what do I make out of it? Who is vanishing them? Chris, you and I have lived in this house for a long time and nothing ever vanished. What is this nonsense? I don't understand. So are you trying to say I'm the one stealing everything in this house? Will I steal my own clothes? Ah, me, I don't know what I'm trying to say or think. I just don't know. I don't know. Be careful what you do, my man. Be careful what you do. Bend of the road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi. What is all this? What's happening? 
Everything I planned was going fine, and suddenly this. So where do I start from again? Baby, you need to calm down. Perhaps it's time we get rid of her. Mm -hmm. Now? Oh. No, 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 no. We still have to find those documents. But the documents are missing. And we're not sure of what will get missing again. The problem is, even if we get to forge the house document, the company and all, and get a lawyer to sign them. What about the trust fund? If we get rid of her, how would we get to get the money to be gone forever? So what's your plan? Let's be patient. I'm sure those documents are in this house. And if you don't find them? We need to do something. No, 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 not again. Ah! I'm sure I kept the money here now. I just kept the money here, just... Please? Are you on the phone? I heard you talking. What is it? I kept, I kept money in the drawer here. I can't find it anymore. You kept money in the drawer? I just said it now. Why ask me? What sort of question is that? Sorry, yo. Sorry. Come, what's going on in this house? Come, this stealing has to stop. Whoever is stealing in this house should stop it. Should stop this stealing. Excuse me. It's not like we have a thief in the house, do we? Whoever is stealing this house should stop it. Go and find the money, okay? I can't find it in What's going on in this house? The money I kept us before I left is missing. And you and I know that I mean, Annabelle did not take it. And nobody came visiting this time. So what's going on in this house? Where's my money? My love. What's going on? I didn't see any money. You didn't see any money? Yes! I, I left this house money. with money upstairs and I cannot find it anymore. What's going on in this house? Look, my love, how, why would I want to steal from you? Look, you can search everywhere. Check my bag, check my clothes, everything. You bought them from me. I have no reason to steal from you. Okay, no problem. We'll find out. Ah. For real, you don't trust me, babe. I can never steal from you, my love. I won't. Why would I want to take your money when you give me... What, what is this? What? I don't know. But, no, no, no. I, I, I didn't take any money. Oh. I swear, baby, I, I didn't take what, what any money. This? I didn't take any money. This, this is not. Come on, me. You have it. 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 You What is going on? Bobby! Why are you crying? What is it? Bobby! Why are you crying? How did that money get to my bag? What is going on in this house? My clothes? The document? And now the money in my bag? <laughs> Someone is behind this. Obi? <laughs> Why are you crying? Nothing. Nothing? And you are crying? What is the problem? Oh, Joe, please. Please, just, just leave me alone, please. I should leave you alone. 
a beautiful maid like you cannot be crying. And a handsome gay man like me will just leave you alone. Know? So it is better you tell me. Wait, oh. did Oga beat you? Or did Madame say something bad to you? Ojo, don't let me descend my anger on you. Just get out. Go. Go and mind your business. Leave me alone. You mean I should go? Girl, since you don't want to tell me. You know what? Just cry and die alone. Hmm? But remember, a problem share is a problem have solved. Tell me, Kanyanga, a beautiful maid like you can be crying in this house. Ojo, get out. I should get out. Get lost! Just get out! Stop I talking should... out my back! Get out! I should get lost. Yes! Okay. Be careful what you do. Careful what you do. Bend of the road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi melona za emeki ya moga digima. Remember, life has it. You sure you're not the one who put the money there? Baby, I swear I'm not the one. I cannot steal from you. I think someone is trying to set me up, I don't know. Then who could it be? Who is trying to set you up? <sighs> Look, I don't want to talk about this again, okay? If you're the one who took the money, please don't do it again. I've forgiven you, okay? You sure? Look, come. <clears throat> you know we have a plan, hmm? We plan to get married, take over this house, the company and all. Well, some unforeseen circumstances are just trying to work against us. And uh, we won't allow it. Okay? Come. Stop crying. Stop crying, okay? I forgive you. Are you sure, TV? Of course, I do. I love you. I love you too. It's not why you're crying. <laughs> it's okay? Okay. Baby. Huh? I I wanted to ask you for a favor. I don't know if you approve of it. You know, I'll do anything for you. What is it? My younger sister wants to come stay with us while she writes her exam. Uh, is that a problem? You have to come. When? Tomorrow, because the exam is on Saturday. If you say yes, she'll come tomorrow. That's fine. Let's come around. I will talk to her about it. That's no problem. Sure. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything for you. Thank you, baby. Baby, I swear I didn't take your money. I can't okay. steal from it's you. It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you, okay? Alright. Okay. Thank you. Why are you calling me? Because I want you. Can't you wait till tomorrow? No, I need you now. No. I can't, I want you beside me. I know, I want you to. Look, you know my pregnancy is growing and I need some massage. Come sit. Um, okay, I'll just stay with you for a while, okay? And go back upstairs and she's upstairs. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Why? 
You know, I need to get a lot to do, room, man. Let me see if I can help her in case she wants to use herself. Chris. <clears throat> I used to love with that blind woman. Because I've told you, let's get rid of her, you said no. And it's beginning to seem as though it's not just about the document. Maybe you still have feelings for her. Ah, damn, don't be silly. Ever since she got blind, she has been dead in my heart. Baby, then if she's dead in your heart, don't go, please. Look, if she falls and dies, it's to her advantage, please. Baby, don't look, go, please. look, I want you to understand me, okay? We still need our life to get what we want, okay? Let's go back to the room, alright? No, please don't go, please. Okay. Yeah, please. Maybe I have to go back to the room, okay? Oh, I'll see you in the morning. Hmm? Chill now. I'll see you in the morning. Please don't go, please. I'll see you in the morning. Please. What is your name now? You know their name? Anita. Anita. So who you can't defy for here? My sister. Who is your sister? Hey. Tell me now, who is your sister here? Because my madam, they are they black. You they fair. So who who are you? Who is your sister? Okay, Anna. Oh, tell her in now. She's my sister. Oh, Obi. Now your sister. What goes around? Me, Waka. Oh, yeah, go inside. Obi, say Waka. Me, Waka. No, Wala. Look at you. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you look good. <laughs> Mr. Fruit. Mr. Fruit. Okay, Mr. Fruit. Mr. Fruit, you want the book? Come here. So. This is my sister I told you about. Oh, hi! Uh, how, how was your journey down here? Hope it was fine. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> what's your name? My name is Anita. Hmm, your sister is indeed beautiful too. Of course! <laughs> Beauty runs in our family! Okay, okay. Uh, 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 why don't you take her to your room? Sure, sure. Come on, it's fine! Oh, look at this girl! Oh, hey! Come on, it. Sister, now that you are here, I need to give you updates on everything going on in this house. You see, in this house, I am no longer a housemate. We are now Oga wife. Hmm. Yes! <laughs> Oga's wife to be is blind. So me and Oga, we are planning something huge. Yes. What? Love being by my side. Didn't get married before she got an accident. And lost her sight. Guess the good part now. What? I am pregnant for a girl. Wow. Yes. Like this, you're pregnant. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the blind woman is also pregnant. But her pregnancy does not matter. My pregnancy matters more. <laughs> that is no good, oh, sister. Eh. Look, <laughs> let me tell you the big thing that we're planning. Me and Oga, we are planning on taking over her company and this house. And when we take over everything, we'll sell it and then we'll travel abroad. <laughs> that is good, but she's a problem. How? Since she is blind, sis, you're a sharp girl. Kill her and all this problem will be over. There is no need selling her things and run overseas. My sister, I've thought about that too. And I've suggested it to my boyfriend too. But he said he needs her around so he can claim some trust fund. So for now, I just align the blind woman to be alive. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Anything, sis, I mean, anything you want me to do to help, I will. 
Shop girl. Even my sister again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's just stop it. When you say this is not nice, I can't say everything in the world is not. Hello, that's the scene. That's what you want to eat. Afternoon. What are you doing here? I came in this morning. I have an exam on Saturday. You're writing an exam? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Obi, why didn't you tell me your sister was coming? Oh, I told Oga Chris and he said no problem. So I didn't find it necessary to tell you. I didn't want to disturb you at all. Mm. Mm. My dear, you're welcome. Mm? Mm. Try and read your book so I can pass your exams, okay? Mm. Look, avoid that woman. She's a very wicked person. That woman is trying all means possible to make sure my plans in this house do not succeed. Are you hearing me? Avoid her. Really? Yes! Avoid her. I know she's the one responsible for everything happening in this house, but I'm just trying to, to, to pinpoint my proof on her. Look, first of all, my new clothes went missing when she came to this house to visit. Annabel asked me to go buy her mold. Secondly, Oga's documents vanished. Thirdly, Oga's money went missing. And somehow, somehow, I don't know how that money ended up in my bag. That woman is very wicked. She is very wicked. She, she, but before she frustrates me in this house, I will make sure I kill her first. So, Annabelle, how have you been? As you can see, I'm fine. I can see you're really fine. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, thanks for letting Anita stay in your place for her exams, okay? Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. You know, if it wasn't for this condition, I would have done more and more and more. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so, good don't to even... see you are the same. Uh, it's good Hi. you're here, Stella. Hi, Chris, how are you? Keep your greetings. Um, thank God you're here. I have something to say. I'm not comfortable with your presence in this house. Strange things have been going on, things have been missing, and obviously it's not me taking them. Neither is it your blind friend here that is stealing. Please, what is wrong with you? How dare you call your, your, your fiance a blind woman? Are you high or something? <laughs> hey, look, I don't care whatever you're talking about. I don't Will you shut up, Chris? What is it? Want me to get mad at you, Abby? Hey, Chris, what is all this woman is going on here? Chris, what has come over you? I can imagine. I can see both of you are mad. Clothes have been missing in this house, documents and money. The next time any other thing get missing in this house, you will feel my wrath. Meanwhile, let me even go and hide the money I have in this house because I can smell thieves around. What? Uh, um, Annabelle, what has come over Chris? Wait, is this what you've been going through in this house? Calm down. Shut the. At least her short people believe. I'm sure Chris must have given her the insult of her life. Stupid woman. Look, avoid her. My enemy is your enemy. Do not go and greet her again. Except you want both of us to have issue, okay? All her plans must fail. I will kill her. Don't worry. <laughs> I thought you said your exam is on Saturday. Why are you not reading? I've never seen you read. I've read already. It's not the one that I think that I'll make you fail. Are you sure? I don't want you to fail. Mr. Chris. That's alright then. Mr. Chris, I want the book. Okay. 
Have you told her about us? Yes, yes, I have. She likes you. And she thinks you're a great guy. Oh. I like her too. She's great. Excuse you? What do you mean you like her? Look, Chris, you're only allowed to like me alone. Am I not enough for you? Hey, jeez. I didn't mean that way. Not that kind of likeness. Like, he's cool. No, 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 I don't care. Not that kind of likeness. Don't like any other person. It's only me that you like. Dude, I don't like it. Come on, it's okay. It's you okay, sure? yes. It's just you. Hmm? <laughs> so tell me, how are your plans going with the forged documents? Cool? Yeah, I met the lawyer and he said, um, in two weeks' time, the house and the company documents will be ready. <sighs> For real? Yeah, for real. Oh, baby, that's good news. So, by breakfast, I want you to put in my food. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Summer. Be careful, man. Of course, I'm really busy. Be careful. What goes around, must surely come around. Be careful. Just remember. Calm down, you'll be fine, eh? Calm down, see. So, that chemist person around there. I think you should call Stella to come and check up on you. I don't know. I don't I don't understand this whole thing, no. Not when anything happened now. She will first of all accuse me first. <sighs> Calm down now. <sighs> it's just warm. <sighs> eh, it might be warm, just relax. Okay. <sighs> what?
out! Chris! Chris! Anita! Anita, no, 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 don't do this to me! What is wrong? Why are you not talking to me, Anita? Chris! Anita! What is wrong? Anita! Let me get my back! Anita! Let me get my back! Don't do this to me! What's going on, Anita? Let me get my back! Anita! Chris! Yes? Chris, stop, stop, stop! She's not breathing again! What do you mean she's not breathing? Chris, I said she's not breathing! Please stop! I said she's not breathing again! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Chris! Chris, stop! Because she's not breathing again! Please talk to me! Talk to me! Chris! She's not breathing! Chris, she's not breathing! Stop breathing! She's not breathing! Anita, please talk to me! Don't do this to me! I beg you! Don't do this to me! I beg you! Chris, I don't know! Anita! She's not breathing! She's not breathing! She's not breathing! She's not pretty. She's not pretty. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to come down. No, no, no. We can't go to the hospital. We can't go to the hospital. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. We need to take her down here. She's not pretty. No, 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 no. Please, 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 Anita, don't do this to me. Anita, bring her, bring her down. Anita, Anita. What's going on? Why is Anita not talking to me? Why is Anita not talking to me? What's going on, Chris? Anita, Anita. No, 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 don't say she's dead. Don't, 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 don't. Chris, please, 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 Chris! Chris! Anita is dead. Just calm down. Why <laughs> will I tell my mother that my sister is dead? Just calm down, love you. Calm down, okay? <laughs> you just have to take her to the hospital and deposit her body into the morgue. But Obi, tell me, did you make a mistake? No. No, I did not. I'm sure I put it in Anita's tea. I am sure, I'm so sure I did not. And she was shouting about her whole stomach too. <laughs> did you kill your sister? No. I don't know what happened. I don't know, God. I don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? Just just simple thing I told you to do when you failed. Grace, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Grace is nice. I don't know. Look, we have to go to the hospital now. Okay? No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can go to the hospital, I can't. Obi, we have to. I have to deposit our body into the mug. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, come. Let's just take us to the hospital, okay? Oh, get back home. We'll know what's up. It's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Please, how is this so sad? Come, come. <laughs> left without saying a word to me. Is everything all right? Chris, are you there? Oh. Where is Obi and Anita? Chris, 
Unica is dead. Eh? What? Oh. What, what do you mean dead? Was she sick before she came to live in our house? I don't know. I don't know. I... Now, what, what really happened? You know I don't like it when you ask me this kind of questions. Jesus Christ! Hey! Oga, you mean Anita is dead? Hey! Chimbo! What really happened? Who poisoned Anita? Not Annabelle, but who? We all ate breakfast together. So how did it happen? Could it, could it be this blind woman? No, 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 no. She's blind, but who? Her sister will be. Now she has no reason to kill Anita. This is beyond me. So, I would have been a dead woman by now. Lying in the morgue. God, I thank you for saving me. What is he thinking? Planning to kill me? Plan and go ahead with it. But my God will expose you people. He will expose you and save me again. My hands are clean. I brought you into my life to help you. This is what you're using to pay me back? You need to go and comfort her. Go to her room. Comfort her. Say things that will ease the pain in her heart. She needs it now. Okay. She'll be right back. Brother Isam is dead. That I killed my own sister. I killed my own sister, Chris. Chris, I'm sure. I'm sure I put the poison in Anna Brusty. I'm sure. I'm sure. What really happened? How did it turn around? I don't know. I can't. I can't take this. Okay. I can't, I can't take this, I okay. can't, I okay. can't take this. Look, all we can do now is just take her home and bury her. At least that's the only thing we can do for her. I can't, I can't take it's okay. this. It's okay. it's okay. I miss my sister, I miss my sister, Grace. Okay. <laughs> Abby. Abby. Yes. Come. What is it? I have some dirty clothes in my room. Please help me wash them. I don't have that time. What? Excuse you. You don't have time to wash my clothes? Yes. The bloody impetus. Are you sick or something? No, I am not sick. A frustrated blind woman like you had the nerve to call me sick? Now you listen. I am pregnant for Chris. 
that means we both have equal rights in this house. And for a very long time, I have stopped being the house girl. Okay? So if you need someone to help you do your laundry or, or babysit your blind self, do yourself good to go get a maid. I am done. <laughs> okay, so because you are pregnant for my man, you think that gives you equal rights in my house? This is my house, in case you didn't know. I inherited this house from my late father. Did you know that? And so what? Are you the first? Oh, you think you deserve some round of applause because you inherited your father's property? Now you listen, blind fool. If you as much as disturb me again, if you as much as send me errand again, you will know what I am made of. Nonsense. What are you made of? What are you made of that I haven't seen before? You harlot. You husband snatcher. What are you made of that you're yet to show me because I've pretty much seen it all. Don't call my name again. Don't. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Talking to you. What will you do? I am talking to you. What will you do? Stupid, frustrated, blind woman. Don't disturb me again. Don't try it. I, I feel like killing you. The way you kill yourself. Why is your fist like this? Why are you crying? Obi slapped you. What? Obi slapped you? Obi is not that harsh. Did you do something stupid? I only asked her to wash my dirty clothes. You told the girl that's pregnant for me to wash your dirty clothes. Are you alright? said you slapped her. Yes. Hmm? Yes, I slapped her. What happened? I slapped her because she insulted me. She insulted me and accused me of killing my own sister. What? Simply because she asked me to wash her clothes and I said I would not. Look, you need to tell her I'm no longer a maid in this house or so I am no longer answerable to her. And she needs to understand that we're two pregnant women in this house and we have equal rights. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm because maybe I'm sorry, okay? Come. You understand. She deserves what she got, okay? She didn't just slap me. What? She focused on hitting my stomach. She didn't what? She said that she said that she'll make sure the baby in her womb never survive. And she wants to kill my baby. I'm not going to do all this. Yes. <laughs> Annabelle, 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 you are wicked. Annabelle, you are a bad person. Annabelle, oh, Annabelle, they told me you are a witch, but I did not believe it. Annabelle, so you know she's pregnant for me, eh? And you went on hitting me on her stomach. You want to kill my child, eh, Annabelle? Ah, Chris, oh. please, do not yell at me because of your harlots. Ah! <gasps> if you ever open your mouth and call her a harlot again, I will kill you. Ah! What nonsense! was a hot slap because of a maid 
Chris! Look, she's no longer in maid in this house. She's carrying my child. And whose child am I carrying, if not yours too? What has come over you? When did you become this monster? You, Chris. I picked you from the gutter where you were nothing but a roadside mechanic. I gave you a bath. Took you in and now you are somebody. You said you loved me. We were even going to get married before this unfortunate incident that took my sight. You made me so many promises. Where are those promises, Chris? Because I don't recognize who you are hey, anymore. Hey, 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 enough of this talk. Look, let me let you know something. Annabelle, I can't marry a blind woman. Okay? I would never marry a blind woman. It's fine, baby. Okay. I've dealt with her, okay? Fair? Huh? I've decided to put her in her place. Is it even fair she's found out you're pregnant? Okay. Look, you're no longer working as a maid, okay? You both have equal rights in this house, right? Eh? Babe, hmm? she even said that this house belongs to her, that we're staying in her house. Yes. But it will be us soon, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm working on getting the papers. Mm -hmm. It's okay, my love. So tell me, what do you want to eat? Let me go and make food for you. I just want you to chill for me. Hmm? Just chill. Come on. You need to tell that woman to stay away from me. Sorry. She should stop stressing me. I'm pregnant. And the test result says that you are okay and your baby too. But going by what you told me that happened yesterday, I think you should walk away from that marriage before it begins. You know, you have to send them out of your house. You owe him nothing. Yes. Since he got the maid pregnant, it's obvious that he's not going to marry you. Doctor, I know what I am doing. Please tell me, how many months before I deliver? Mm -hmm. yeah, works now and uh, you have five months more. The moment I go to bed, I will send them away. Why why waiting for this long? I have my reasons. And I believe you know my reasons. Anyway, it's fine. What has come over you? Elby, when did you become this person? Maybe I have always been this person when you feel too Look, Stella, you have tried your best by bringing me here. Thank you. But you know my story. You know my mother. My mother is a single mother that needs help. So now that I find myself in this place, do you expect me to go back to poverty? Hell no. You are even referring me as Stella. Is that not your name? Calling me by name, Stella. You don't have respect anymore. You don't want to go back to poverty, Obi. But you're here making another woman's life miserable in her own home. How? You're asking me how? Uh-huh. You're pregnant for her man. And so? You eat her food. And so? You live in her house. And so what? And both you and her husband lavish her money and you stand there to ask me how? Oh, please. I beg. Look. Oh, jeez. I'm just trying to make a living for myself okay really? yes i'm trying so hard to become the woman i want to be in the future unlike you that does not mind your business so just just avoid me 
Mind your business. I'm not, I'm not the reason. Stop coming to this house because of me. I can Stop see. It. I can see you're crazy. I am so disappointed you in you. Know I regret the day I bought you, you this you house. What is going to... on here? My love. Madam Advisor is trying to advise me. Oh, I see. Do you need advice? No. She doesn't need your advice. So when you were done, use the gate. Disgusting old witch. Rubbish. I love us going. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you do. Man, be careful what you do. Bend up the road. It's not the end of the road. Oh. And nobody came to call me. Remember, I have it up and down. Is what you read. It's up What goes around? I beg you. Yes. <laughs> no. This food. <laughs> Where is my own? I was perceiving the aroma from upstairs. There's no food for you. What kind of joke is that? Where is my food? Is it in the kitchen? It's not a joke. There is no food for you in the kitchen. There is no food for you in this house. Stop. How? How will I start going this food? Please, I'm hungry. Give me food to eat, please. Look, Annabelle, if you want to eat, take your blind self to the kitchen and make something really nice for you to eat. But this food I made, you will not eat it. Please, you know I can't. The blind woman cannot cook. Oh, now you know that you're blind. The other day you were sharpening mouths, insulting me, calling me names. You didn't know you're blind and handicapped, baby. You didn't know. No problem. Stay there and starve. If it's this food, you will not eat it. See, if you want to eat something, you can go and make yourself something. If you can't, then starve. Huh. I hope you like the food. Mm -hmm. So nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you I'm making so delicious. I trust you. I make the best dishes. <laughs> Be careful what you do, one man. Be careful what you do. Bend of the road, it's not the end of the road. Makana ipi meloya za, emegi ya moga digima. Remember, life has it up and down. What the soul is what you read. What goes around, must surely comes around. Now that we are alone in this house, this is the perfect time to do this. Before Crips comes back from work, everything would have been over. This would be enough to cause her miscarriage. Mr. Chris, what is your problem? Mr. Chris, the one the book, get the even so boogie in a meal. In a way, I live again. It was so boogie. Oh, again. I see more again. It was so boogie. Oh, I'm alone. Get up your gale. What so you will reap? What goes around? My surely comes around. Be careful. What goes around? My surely comes around. Be careful. Just remember the hand that fit you. You bite the heart. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you do, one man. Be careful what you do. Bend of the road, it's not the end of the road. Makana ipi meloya za, emeki ya moga digima. Remember. Okay. I made really nice noodles for you with boiled egg. I know how much you love eggs. 
Ma, please, I really want to say that I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. I was angry. And I've come to realize that you're a woman like me. And I shouldn't treat you badly. I also promise to talk to Chris when he comes back. We're both women and we should be treated specially. Please, ma, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Bobby. Yes, ma. Are you really the one saying all these things? Because I'm really sorry, ma. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to hear them. Indeed, I am your fellow woman and you should be nice to me. I forgive you. I forgive you for all the wrongs you ever did to me. I forgive you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay, God bless you too. Um, it's up. Um, finish everything. Don't worry about me. I left some for myself in the kitchen. Oh, yes. Let me go and have my bath. Okay. If you need anything, just call my name. I'll be here to attend to you. Thank you so much, ma. Thank God you, so you ma. Thank you so much. You are so kind. Enjoy your meal. I will. Remember. <laughs> Today is the day that your child will die. 
whatever you have in mind as you've given me this food will come back to you. Mr. Chris, what is your problem? Mr. Chris, you want the book, get it even so boogie. In a miale, in a woyale, again, even so boogie, oh, okay. I'm a guinea alone. Gino Piagelia, so you will reap. Expecting and what we're expecting you, which all I know is anyone that is praying bad prayers for me in this house, my God will punish them and expose them. Bad prayers, did she say bad prayers? Obi, Obi, who is praying bad prayers for you? Hey, the basket of Wahala is now on the head of the person plotting Wahala. <laughs> hey God, Chimdalo. My God, you saved me yet again from another death trap. Obviously, the evil men did now lives with them. Carry your cross. I dodged yet another bullet. I jumped and passed that pit. You fell into the pit that you dug for me. It serves you right. Let's be watching. I'm here. At a lot. Nothing mega. Yes, Obi is here. Um, eh? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. That. You would have to sleep in Obi's room or the sitting room. You know, um, you know she, we lost our baby and had to take care of her. Yeah. Excuse me? Es what did you just say? That I should sleep where? So that who? Who will sleep where in my bedroom? You lie. Chris, you lie. Annabelle. Please. What is it? Annabelle, look, I don't want to get mad this night. Please, calmly go to the sitting room and sleep. Okay? Me, calmly. Abby, calmly leave. Oh. Annabelle. What is she? Annabelle, look. Get up and hey, get hey, out. Hey, Annabelle, this listen, is my listen, room. listen to me, Annabelle. Look, I don't want to get angry. Okay? I don't need anything blind staying close to me. Don't you understand? I'm not in a good mood. So if you know what's good for you, 
Just calmly go to the sitting room and sleep. Okay? Eh? You don't want anything blind. And that's me. Get Chris, me! Get out! Me, Annabelle! You talk to me like this! You treat me like this because of this girl! Because of this girl, Chris! You did this to me! I'm not going anywhere! Annabelle! I am not going anywhere! Annabelle, get out of this this room. is my room! Look. It's God that will punish you! Annabelle, leave! God will punish you! God! Get your hands up! Annabelle! I'm not going anywhere! Annabelle. This is my room! Annabelle, leave! Hey. Leave me alone! Chris, leave me alone! This is my room! I'm not going anywhere! Don't you, don't I'm not going say anywhere! Respect herself and let us be. I don't know, I don't understand. So she's always trying to ruin our sweet moments. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, well, I sound. <laughs> um, this is still true. Get to the market to so get first stop. Good. Mm -hmm. Can I have my ATM card, please? Why? I think it's time you stopped spending my money. You must be mad, this blind woman. Yes. If you as much as spend a dime more out of my money, you will see my true colors. You will see my true colors. Let me have my card. Bring it on, brand new one. Mr. Chris, what is your problem? Mr. Chris, you want the book, get the even so boogie. In a me alley, in a way alley, I get even so boogie, oh, okay. I see more get even so boogie, oh. Stella. I'm alone. It's time. I need you to come to my house right now. I'll be waiting. Hey, yeah, I'm Annabelle. I'm here. You sent for me. What is it? It's time. I have to act now and I have to act fast. Good. So where do you start from now? There is no time to waste. I have to start right away. And the first step is, I want you to take me to the bank. Okay, to secure your money, right? Yes, I need to block my ATM card and secure the rest of my money. Dress we wanted to get on the road. Which one? The one I told you to buy before we got busy. Oh, I forgot that one. Okay, you know yes. what? We'll get it next time. Okay? Next time? Maybe next time no, we go baby, out now. Come on, someone else will go and buy it. Look, I'll wait for you tomorrow morning. Okay, please. Okay, fine. Fine. Go and drop this stuff. So we can go pick it up. Okay. Uh, Alright. I'm going to Just relax and I'll be on my way out. I'll come and see you next time, okay? See you now. I have
have a surprise for you. Okay, not of surprises, so what is it? Tell me. I can see you. What? I was never blind. I can see you. my parents to a ghastly motor accident and since their death I've been fighting for survival. My only uncle who ought to be my remaining family member did a lot to eliminate my life but he failed and here I am still surviving. I got lonely in my journey. I met Chris and I fell head over heels in love with him. I thought he was the one for me. I was willing to walk down the altar with him and share my whole world with him. Then came the accident. It was an unfortunate incident, but I used it to test Chris, to find out if indeed he is for real. I love him genuinely, but I needed to be sure he loved me genuinely. And so I began to pretend to be blind. And boy, my eyes saw a lot. Wow. Oh my God. I'm still trying to catch my breath. Billy, Annabelle, you can see me. Okay, um, are you still going to continue pretending to them? Go home, Stella. Okay. You hear from me. And when you do, it will be good news, I promise you. It's already good news. Like, you can see me. Oh my God. I'll be going. Because this one is good news already for me. Okay, my way. Oh my God. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Don't. Are you serious? How's that? Scared. Orange jumpsuit. Oh my god, she's ah, she can see. I'll see you, I'll see you. Annabelle! Annabelle! Yes. Annabelle, why are you wicked? Wait, Annabelle, you are blind! And you are wicked. So this is how you want to embarrass me, eh? Hey, Annabelle, you went to block the ATM card. Not only that, you went to the bank to block our bank account. Are you mad or something? Go and make your own money, Chris. Go and make your own money like your fellow men. <laughs> how about that, Annabelle? You must be mad. You are a very mad woman, Annabelle. You must be very. Ah, ah, Annabelle, you mad? You mad? You want me to be right to talk to me? Yes. You want to? Yes. Yes. You. I don't care. Kill that thing. Kill your stomach. Stop that. Kill that thing. I never, don't get me angry this morning. I didn't come here to come out and start having an argument with you. I need the ATM. Chris, I understand you're frustrated and you really want to spend my money. But there is no money for you. Annabelle. 
I need the ATM. Don't you get it? Some people did something for me and I need to pay them. Oh, who are the people? Your document forgers? Your lawyer whom you have paid or who you want to pay to forge my house documents? The ownership documents? Company documents and my trust fund documents? You want to pay them for the forgery? There's what, no money. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Look, Annabelle, don't change the topic. I need the ATM right now. Don't let me force it out of you, Annabelle. Annabelle, try to force Annabelle, I need the ATM. Nothing will make me give you ATM. Annabelle, don't get me angry this morning. What will you do? I will, I will hit you, Annabelle. Your hands off me. Annabelle. Ah! Annabelle. Oh. 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 Hit that again. Oh. Hit that again. Oh. 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 Hit that again. Oh. Oh. Hit that again. Oh. 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 Don't worry, just let me come. Oh. Come. She will be fine when she wakes up. Um, doctor, how are you going to pass the message to her? Um, is it about the miscarriage? Yes. Don't worry. I will do that professionally. Sorry. When did you know about? About what exactly, doctor? Her sight. Oh. Yesterday, and doctor come to think of it, so you hid this from me. You planned with her to hide this from me. It was her wish, and I have to honor it. She wants to see if her man is real. Okay? I have to be in my office. You actually had um, a, a fight with Chris and you fainted, so we had to rush you here. This one, you know. <gasps> Come down up here. Easy. <gasps> oh. Just hold for there, for there. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. What? What? Where is my mom? Calm down. Doctor, see, the doctor is here. He's going to explain. Doctor, please explain okay. to her, please. What, what's going on? Just relax, relax. Uh -huh. What happened to my baby? I'm sorry. The fight affected it. What? See, we don't have any other option but to save your life. Exactly. We have to get rid of the baby. Yeah. We're sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. What? You did You did Just relax. You did what? I will, I will make you understand. Okay? Where is my It's for your life. I will need to save your life. No, no! Please, no, don't. Just... No, no, please. No! No, no, no. Okay. Look, babe, you shouldn't have let her friend take her to the hospital. You shouldn't. If I don't, she'll die. The two of us go to jail for murder. So what happens if she comes back? What happens next? Life continues. By next week, the house papers and the complete papers will be ready. Then we can kill her in her sleep. You know, make it look like she died in her sleep. Yeah, we could use a pillow to kill her. Babe, that is so dumb. 
If we do that, the doctors will get autopsy and they will know she died suffocated. So what's your plan? Um, look, this is my plan, right? We are going to kill her and bury her where nobody will find her. Then we're being asked, we we'll say she went out with her friend and she never came back. That way her friend will blame for her disappearance. But first, we need to fire the gates man because we don't need any witness in the compound. Sounds cool? Sounds like sounds like a perfect plan. Mm -hmm. I think I love that plan. people oh okay this woman has gone to cook up stories and brought you guys here eh you must be out of your mind this blind woman is such an ingrate <laughs> annabelle <laughs> i'm by mr cosmos annabelle's lawyer i don't mr chris if you are done i want you to take your milk of a love out of this bumper this minute if i can discharge this against you and get you arrested Oh my God. On what charge is this? Because last I checked, I've done nothing wrong. Oh, eh? So, what charges, please? Annabelle was never blind. She simply wanted to know if you care and love her, or you actually want her money. But she was right never to trust you. Oh. Doctor, um, if I didn't know you, I'd have said you're speaking gibberish. What? You, you were the one who confirmed her blind. As you can see, she can't see anything. I'm sorry. Um, the truth remains that your fiancé may not be able to use her eyes again to see. Um, the injury actually affected the cells of the retina on the optic nerves, which the ophthalmologist tried all his best to reverse the whole thing, but he couldn't. Doctor, please. Can you explain to me in simple terms? Are you trying to tell me that Annabelle can't see again? See, it's the truth. You know, the injury affected the retina of the eyes. The retina of the eyes, its role is to take light from the outside through the optic nerve to the brain for the vision to be, you know, to be confirmed by the person. I don't know how to explain better, but we have tried. She can't make use of her eyes again. I'm sorry. Okay, Doc. Is there nothing that can be done, even if it means flying her abroad? Like I said, nothing. And uh, if you believe in miracle, then you can go on and fly her abroad. Well, as you can see, Chris, I can see you too. I was never blind. Jesus. 
do you see me? Because I see you. Annabelle. I see you too. Annabelle. Surprised, aren't you? Well, well, well. So if indeed I was blind, this is how you would have screwed me over. With this stupid bitch? You. You made several attempts on my life. So if I was blind, chances are you would have succeeded with your wicked antiques. You poisoned me. Severally. You made tea for me, but you put poison in it. Baby, I saw that. Yes. I saw you put in it. And when you left, I smartly exchanged my tea with your sister's tea. She drank it and died. <laughs> you know, one would think that you would give up after your sister died. But no. You have no anger for me. That only poison you quench. You came to apologize to me. Pretend now you're your fellow woman. And then poison noodles and serve me. Your plan was that the baby in my room dies. I switched it. I made sure you ate that one. And what happened afterwards? The baby in your womb was affected. You Kama. lost the baby, didn't you? That was the exact plan that she had for me. Kama is a bitch. Kama. A bloody bitch. Exactly. What do you say now, baby? How do you like me now? I saw you. All this time you were kissing and full licking without grabbing her ass. I'm girl. I was seeing you. Annabelle. Shut up. Annabelle, I've had just about enough from you two. And right now, all I want more than any other thing in this world is for you two to get the hell out of my father's house. Annabelle, get I, out! I, I, I mean, get out of my house! Take nothing, because nothing that is in this house belongs to you two. Out. Hello, Mr. Hello. Yeah. Well, you've been a wonderful offer. I personally. Out. Thank you. Annabelle. Annabelle, please, just, just listen to me. Hello, yeah. hello. Get out! Are you work? Criminals! Annabelle, 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 Annabelle,
updating they're all in the past now even your uncle's stuff everything is in the past now okay it's okay i have learned from your experience life indeed can be really clear you know every woman should be very careful with the men they get themselves involved with same goes to the men all attempts on your life were made by Obi. That girl was so desperate. And Chris trusted her blindly without knowing what she was doing behind him. Well, thank God for the wisdom he gave me to have pretended to be blind. God forbid. Blindness is never my friend's portion, nor anybody's. No, it's not my portion. Amen. Amen. Wipe those tears. I don't want to see you cry anymore. <laughs> hmm? It's okay. I understand how you feel, but I'm here now. See, Cheryl. Eh? I'm glad you're home. <laughs> Let me go fix something for you. Be careful what you do. My man, be careful what you do. The road is not the end of the road. Makana ipi melona za emegi ya moga dima. Remember, life have it up and down. Want to soul? 